looking for some simple and easy ways to make yourself happier, maybe other than Pharrell's happy song? Well, our next guest says, if you are unhappy, maybe struggling through one challenge after another, or feeling disconnected from everyone, you are not alone. We are so happy to welcome Amy Van Atta Slater. She is a best-selling author and SVP of Fortune 500 tech company. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. So nice to be here. So happy to have you here. And as I said, you know, that song is a feel-good song, but some of us out there might not be feeling so good right now. Though, you know, we were chatting during the break. Life is a roller coaster. And I'm, I'm so excited for you to be here today to share your story along with your book because you have such an inspiring message for people. Talk about your journey and, and what brought you to write this book, Moments. Yes, um, I'd say that uh, after one struggle after another um, with divorce, with a chronic illness, and my father's diagnosis of Lewy body dementia, um, I felt like I had been hit pretty hard yeah. and I felt like I needed to hit the reset button and look for a way to get through it that you know didn't entail any kind of illegal drugs or alcohol yes, right <laughs> and just uh, and and take a take a turn so what can we expect with this with this book why did you want to take all of those experiences and put them down on paper and share them with the world really um, the writing of the book is meant to inspire and it starts at the table of contents, which I call the table of disciplines. Mm -hmm. And each chapter really is about an action that one needs to take. And the first chapter is cry, that I think so many people are afraid, afraid to cry. To do, right? I realized after the first three years, uh, last three years of my marriage, I hadn't cried in three years. And I realized it because I was too afraid. I was yeah. too afraid to, to open up and let go. Well, you mentioned uh, a marriage. You mentioned uh, an illness in your family all of this while you're raising three beautiful girls. How did you overcome all of that, those obstacles? Yeah, um, I took a pause and decided that I needed to slow down yeah. and let, let the universe really come, come at me. Mm -hmm. And by slowing down, I opened up a window of opportunity for new things to come into my life and really just change and, and get a positive mindset mm -hmm. and, and really, I mean, not to be cliche, but to look on the bright side. Yeah, and you have to. You have to really kind of change your attitude about that. And it seems like with life, you know, we were talking about how life is such a roller coaster. When it rains, it pours. All of those things that go along, it seems like when one thing happens, then, then this comes at you and then this comes at you. Was there ever a moment when you just kind of felt like giving up? Yeah, more than one. <laughs> more than one moment. And I'd say it was... Um, certainly um, in the early stages of my divorce and then the chronic illness that I have being IBS essentially just wrecked me mm -hmm. and it was it was hard to even just get up and, and leave the house mm -hmm. um, emotionally and physically and I did I did want to give up and then I was inspired by a few uh, various authors uh, Brene Brown being one of them and watched her TED.com video on vulnerability wow. and it says vulnerability isn't weakness and I spent so much of my life trying to be perfect and strong mm -hmm. and didn't want the world, the world to see that maybe I might make a mistake or two. Right. And so um, I called the vulnerability wrecking ball and it knocked the wall down. So for anybody listening out there, I mean, it, it's, it is refreshing to know that you are not alone because sometimes you can't turn to necessarily friends or family. And you said to me that it's kind of refreshing talking to a stranger about these experiences sometimes, right? Yeah. And most importantly, to really kind of live in the moment, which I think a lot of us take, it, take for granted because you really have to stop and pause and try to live in the moment, right? Exactly. And what I found is when you talk to strangers, there's this relatability mm -hmm. factor and because they're not judging you. Some, oftentimes I think we're so worried about what people think of us, certainly our family and our friends, that they have an expectation of how we should be. But a complete stranger has no idea. They just want to connect mm -hmm. and, and relate to what you're going through. Well, Amy's book is available. It is a great read. And like I said, the message is so inspiring. So I hope you guys pick up a copy. It's Moments, Magic, Miracles, and Martinis, How to Move Forward in Times of Uncertainty. Also, if you mentioned that you saw this on the Morning Blend, buy one book and get 50% off at the Sandman Book Company. And that's today only. So make sure you take advantage of that. Amy, thank you so much thank again. So Such much. an inspiring message. And like I said, a great read. And if you want to learn more about Amy and her book and her inspiring message, Head online to our website. We'll have it all right there for you at fox4morningblend.com. How do you find your happiness? We would love to know. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to hear from you guys. 
And since we are on the subject of summer reads, we thought we would give you avid readers out there a little following uh, with some product. We found these online and thought that they are worth flipping through. So check out this first one. For the person who loves to read, even in the pool, get a load of this floating caddy. You can take your favorite book for a dip without getting the pages wet. I love that. Up next is a really neat one, and this one's for the beach. Check this out. She looks relaxed. Talk about multitasking while relaxing. Work on your back sunbathing while still burning through those pages with this face-down lounger. And then for those readers who choose their beds, this is a great solution. A pillow wedge. It makes reading in bed so much more comfortable, as you can see. And speaking of reading in bed, who says you have to stop just because your partner is asleep? Try these light up glasses so you can continue to be entranced with the latest bestseller. And then lastly, if you are having trouble reading smaller text, fear no more. You can get this magnifier to help with unwanted squinting and horrible headaches. We found all of these on BuzzFeed. Cool ideas out there. All right. Be sure to uh, make that bookworm happy in you and check those out. And speaking of happy, we are rolling out a barrel of fun at Vom Foss in Naples. How you can get there, a taste of their try before you buy concept with top of the line oils, liqueurs, and fine spirits. And still to come, beauty products that will make you blush. How you can feel flawless with summer's top sizzling makeup artist. 